All right, hi, welcome to my YouTube, and we're gonna be playing Pokemon Shield today. We're gonna start a new adventure, and we're gonna see how this goes. I just wanna make a little series. I wanna be able to play through the game and enjoy it. And um, yeah, maybe at the end we'll uh, we'll give some Pokemon away. I'll probably end up doing a shiny giveaway at some point again. Uh, I wanna make sure everyone is able to totally get shiny Pokemon if they want. Um, so let's see, let's uh, let's pick our starting trainer. I'm gonna pick. Uh, I'm gonna pick the dude with the white hair. Screw it. What is your name? All right, we're just gonna name it Wild, and that's our character. There we go. Is that correct? Yes, yes it is. Now saving, and let's do this. This is a really big stadium. And imagine imagine one day Nintendo just just decides to create real Pokemon. They're just like, you know what, we have enough money from the franchise to just, you know, DNA splice one into reality. <laughs> that would be interesting. We would have big old events like this. <laughs> Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us. In the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon Trainers. That's us. We are a Pokemon trainer. Official. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it's a pleasure to be here. Now, turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for champion Leon's ex exhibition match. All right, let's see what happens here. Stay hydrated, guys. It's getting hot. Summer's coming. Summer's here pretty much, right? It's Leon. He's got a Chawazal. Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end when I beat you here today. You know I don't lose bells, Rayhan. Rayhan? Rayhan? Charizard, Dynamax. Look at that. There's a big boy Charizard. There's a badass looking Charizard. Pokemon Shield. So I'm going to be reading as much as I can. I, I cannot promise that I'll be able to read absolutely everything because some things do just slip, you know. Um, and I accidentally hit the A button when I don't mean to. So <laughs> there might be... Uh, dialogue skip, but I will try and read absolutely everything that I possibly can. I know that some people it's hard for you to be able to do that, so I'm more than happy to be able to dictate it for you. Hey, look, it's me. Literally what I'm doing right now. Sitting down, holding, holding the Switch controller. Hello. Oh, he's on his phone, actually. Oh, it's Hop. Oh. That your Flash new phone, Wild? That sentence doesn't really make sense. Oh, that your flash new phone. Wild. Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know, the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be his famous Charizard pose. Oh god, let's not. <laughs> Pop, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get wild. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Come with me, Wild. You should be here any minute. And Lee's always bringing presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See, see you at mine later. So yeah, it's like uh, he's kind of talking with an accent. I'm assuming that's why the dialogue is kind of 
weird a little bit. Oh cool, yeah, we are in game actually. Nice. Alright, so let's go. And he said grab my bag. So let's talk to mom real quick. Rushing off in that state wild? Didn't Hop say you should bring your bag? I last saw it in your room, and don't forget to grab a hat for the weather. Okay, so let's grab our bag. It's right here. Grab your dad's old bag, actually. So it's it's daddy's bag. And I got my hat. Nice. Look, I got my little beanie. Got my little beanie. We're good to go. It's perfect. All right, so open the menu, press on the X. You can save. You can also check your map. And you can check this adventure guide anytime you want to in the key sections of your bag. All right, so now we have our bag. Let's get out of this house. Hey, Hop. I see you. I'm coming. That's a voodoo. Badoo. Ha ha. Have a look at you, Wild. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. That's funny. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. It's a sheep. A wooloo, but what's it doing here? Boop. Just booping the fence. It's cute. Boop. Hey, you silly woo-woo. I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fence. Oh, he's using tackle. Nice. <clears throat> Sorry. Now you listen. Not going past that fence. No. Everyone knows that there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering wield. Meh. Cute. Now that's taken care of. How about it, Wild? Let's race. Bet I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging about that big old bag. And he is really talking trash about my dad's bag. <laughs> and you know, my, my dad's not even here, man. Oh man, that, that's that's sad. What if my dad's like RIP'd and then this dude's just roasting his stuff? <laughs> that's not okay. Alright, let's see. The power of science is amazing. Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Isn't that super amazing? It is, it is. Internet's cool, man. We haven't always had that. When I was a kid, you know, we had that dial-up crap, and let me tell you right now, that was not the best. So let's, let's break into an arena, and we're gonna see what's going on in this dude's house. We just walked in, like, didn't even knock. Mom, is he here? There you are, at last, Hop. Oh, and you've brought along Wild. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? He's still not here yet. For the hundredth time, honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Whitehurst. And that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that's probably is for the best. You've got to come with Wild. You've still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you on the route. Oh, that's not a door. How the hell did I get in here? Where's the door? Uh -oh. oh, there it is. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta go this way, I think. That's cute. It's a little, little battlefield. This way. Let's get a move on. Only remember, Wild. Wild Pokemon can come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against Wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Wild, so we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. Alright. So, in this game, I believe that encounters are in the grass, but then they are also, like, out in the open, so you can just run into them. And it's kind of nice, actually. I like the fact that you have both in this. Wedgehurst. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst, your champion Leon's back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for all of you to watch. It's our unbeatable champion, Leon. You and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. 
I hope you all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've all been working on our battle skills, just like you taught us to, Lee. That Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true, that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other, pe other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym, cha to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Grar. Actually, Grar. Lee. Hop. So my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since last time I saw you. Bingo, this is sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated so long, eh, Lee? And these bright eyes over here. I've got it. You must be wild, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan, too. People call me the unbeatable lion, uh, Leon. <laughs> Come on, Lee. And you, wild. Bet I can beat the both of you back home. That hop always wanted to be the best, isn't he? The proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. There we go. Running back home. Come on, Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Wild and me, Pokemon, you did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Take a good look, you two. The grass type Pokemon, Grookey. The fire type Pokemon, Score Bunny. And the water type Pokemon, Sobble. I'm actually not too sure who I'm going to pick. I haven't uh, beaten this game in well over a year, so this is all like a nice refresher for me. I actually forgot most of the stuff, not going to lie. All right, line up, everyone. Which will you choose? All right, let's pick. Go on, you pick first. I've already got my Wulu, after all. Oh, so he already has a Pokemon. I remember that. Um, all right, let's see. Do I want Sobble? Do I want Square Bunny? Or do I want Grookey? Hmm. Mm hmm. I kinda. I, I'm feeling Score Bunny. I think I'm gonna go with a little Bun Bun. Score Bunny is Fire type. It's filled to bursting with fiery passion. You're set on the Fire type Pokemon Score Bunny. Yes. You choose Score Bunny. Would you like to give him a nickname? Of course we do. Alright, we're gonna name him Bun Bun because it's the first thing that I said. <laughs> bun, and then we'll do a little minus, and Bun. Bun Bun. Has been added to your party. Yeah, there we go. That's my starter. So cute. So it'll be Score Bunny for you. Nice one. Then I'll go with Grookey. You're mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be do doing some serious training. Bah. <laughs> I bet you will be Hop. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Wild. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together. To try and reach me.
and you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind too. All right, enough of this, all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner is ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. Hey, the grillin'. Made some shish kebabs. Look pretty good. That is the Pokemon Center sound. I love that. The next day, you spent the whole night with that new Poke uh, partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on all right? Understanding one another? Maybe even build up, built up a bit of love? Of course I have, Lee. Wilds made fast friends with his score bunny too. And listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who will be coming to challenge you. If you think Wild might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to be the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know? Uh, proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend, if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Yeah. Leaving your partner Pokemon and care for them too with all your heart. Do these two things and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. <laughs> Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Alright, let's see if he knows what to do. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Pokemon Trainer Hop sent out Wooloo. Go Bun Bun! Pokemon battle it is then. I've got two partners with me. Alright, that's kind of cheap. You got two partners with you, and you're still gonna lose. We're gonna use tackle. And he's using tackle. Oof. No damage. Use tackle again. And he's gonna use tackle. One more time. Alright, Wooloo is fainted. One down, one to go. Oh, he leveled up, and he learned Ember. Oh yeah, now I can just roast his Bricky. It's not over yet, I've had another trusty Pokemon to my team, I think he said. Bricky. Ember. <laughs> Bye, Bricky. Oh, I didn't one-hit him, that would've been awesome. No criticals. You already know about type advantages? I do. He's using Scratch, it's not gonna do much, and he's burned. That's hilarious. Oof. Goodbye. Level 7. You defeated Hop? You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and that Squirt Bunny are too much. I got 400 for winning. Well, that was a shock. Guess I knew why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let Charizard out and join in all the fun. Oh yeah, we could just one-shot all of us. Good effort out there, Squirt Bunny. Why don't I get you all sorted? And Wild, you've got a real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle, Lee, so come on. You've got to let me take on the Pokemon Gyms. You join the Gym Challenge? 
You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon, especially your friend Wild, before you think about getting gym badges. Best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know, it's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedex is then, we're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Wild. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm gonna be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You probably better go tell your mom that we're heading out, though. Alright, so let's go talk to my madre. Oh, wait. Crash. Wow, did you hear that just now? Right next to my house. The gate's open, and the wooloo that was there... ...is somewhere in the forest now. I was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once, and she came back in a real state... And that was nothing compared to the e earful she got from the professor afterward. Wild, what do you say? You've got to save it. Right. Even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. I hope you're ready for anything, because we're going in, Wild. Alright, let's do this. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. It's not going to stop me and talk to me. Alright, the slumbering wield. This is a really nice area. I love the graphics in this game. They do look really good. That Wooloo. Where do you think it got off to? The fog is coming in really thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Oh, oh yeah, I get uh, guaranteed encounters here. So I can't do anything about uh, dodging these guys. I have to take them. I think I can run if I really wanted to, but uh, we need the XP, so we're just going to Ember everything. Just tackle. No damage on my score button. Yo, two. Goodbye, Squovid. <laughs> 11 XP. Alright. Let's keep going. Come on, hop. Go find the Wooloo. It's a rookie bee. Go bun bun. It's too nervous to eat berries. Right. Ember. Was that noise? Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, do you think? Probably, yeah. Swove it again. Fight Ember, he's level three this time. Hey. Swove it, went bye bye, two shot him. And let's keep going. A woo. Come on, Wild, that Wooloo might be in real trouble. Well, getting eaten by a wolf, sounds like. Oh, yeah, the song in this area, it's, it's being sung by the wolf. And it sounds really cool. If you listen to it closely, you can hear the woo woo woo. It's kind of cute. This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get it why this place is off limits now. 
probably not the safest place, you know. It's, a, it's right next to my house, too. Isn't that kind of creepy? Hey. What in the... Grilled. Oh, he wants me to fight him. Question mark, question mark, question mark appeared. Go bun bun. Oh, we don't even know his level. Alright, use Ember. Has no effect. Mysterious Pokemon's gaze is fixed it fixed on you. What? The move had no effect on it. Ember again? Move had no effect. Oh, he's he's really upset. Wow, I can't see anything. You okay? No effect. It's gonna get foggier and foggier till we absolutely can't see crap. I can't see anything. Ooh, ah. Let's see. Hop wild. Oh, it's Leon. What, Lee? How'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions, you always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed. Of course, I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wooloo? We're trying to rescue that Wooloo. Charizard saved it. Meh. Little chaps, just fine. Though, all you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know, this place is out of bounds. But it took courage to come in here all the same. And I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. And at least that Wooloo's alright. Yeah, Wild. I thought we had it when that weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. And it just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really? They seemed to pass right through it. Your moves passed right through it, so the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering wield, are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you can be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright, now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience. This will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. It's funny. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go, sp uh, she'll go spare if you just leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. Alright, so let's go talk to mom. Yeah. Right, where's, where's mom? There she is. Bah! Well now, isn't Score Bunny just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Here we are, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center, maybe some potions or something. Remember that Score Bunny will battle to the very end for you, so don't you go pushing the poor deer too hard. Fa. <laughs> and you, Score Bunny, look after my little wild. Come home to rest any time that you need. After all, east or west, home is best. All right, so let's get out of here. Let's keep going. So he said I have to go to Wedgehurst. Let's go to Wedgehurst. New mode, be he. Let's see. I don't think I have anything in my bag yet. Oh, oh I do. I have five Pokeballs. Okay. Good to know. Here we go. This is quite the big step, you know. My first step towards becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Rookie a bit by having it battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white ball marked out front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. 
Okay, so we gotta go to that lab. I'm gonna grab this item. Potion. Over this way. Grab this item. Paralyzed heal. And I want the Nicket. I want the Nicket. All right. I encountered a wild Nicket. Go Bun Bun. All right, so let's just fight, tackle, and throw a Pokeball. Tail Whip. Defense Fell, Pokeball, go. Let's see what happens here. Two, three, click. Yeah, all right, we got it. Caught our first Pokemon. Seventeen XP for catching. Not bad. Would you like to give it a nickname? Yes. We we will name it um Nick 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 and then Nick again Nick Nick. No Nick Nack. I like Nick Nack. Nick Nack. Nick Nack has been added to your party. All right, now we have Bun Bun and Knick Knack. Cute. Let's keep going. All right, so I have to go this way. I guess they just blocked off or whatever. Well done. You reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown? All thanks to having Pokemon with you? I know, I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now in we go. Rawr. I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. Bow Wark. Oh, it's so cute. What is it today, Leon? Looking for info on another never-before-seen super-strong Pokemon? I'd wish you stop with all these outlandish requests. <laughs> Good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. Tis, what kind of introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out, I did too. Anyway, nice to meet you. My name's Sonia, I'm the professor's assistant. This is wild. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the right path, would you? Yamper. I think her Yamper is female because it has a little heart on its butt. Sai, so what does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. <clears throat> Rotom phones are handy little things that aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation tool. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry. T uh, so tell me. Do you know a lot about Pokemon? You bet. Well said. In that case, I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. Oh, cool. So they just literally put the Pokedex on your phone in this game. That that's kind of cool. I didn't notice that the first time I played through it. You obtained the Pokedex. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from my Gran. Do you let Gran know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down along Route 2. Okay, so I gotta go to Route 2 and look for Grandma. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you've got a Pokedex. I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. Here's a freebie. Cool. Thank you. It's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP hit and their hit 
points get low. HP is like a Pokemon stamina. You can even use potions during battle. Knowledge is power, and it's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. Alright. But you can give me something. You ever get lost during your uh, travels? Don't forget your trusty old town map. Oh, you can actually go into these houses. Cool. Rather, grand building besides this is the Pokemon Research Lab. But if Professor Magnolia you're seeking, you'll find her at her home down at the far end of Route 2. Okay. Alright, so I guess we're looking for uh, Professor Magnolia. Let's go find her. Oh, Hop's gonna stop me. Got your Pokedex from Sonya? Then it's time to meet lots of different people and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon Centers. Luckier yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same everywhere you go. Come on, Wild. Bet you've never been inside one. Actually, I have. <laughs> there we go. Level with me, Wild. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Of course not. Then I don't think you need to tell you what to do. You already know. <laughs> If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers, I'm already good though. I'm heading to Route 2, Wild. Come and find me, maybe, when you're done here. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna heal up real quick. Yes. Do, 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 do. And. There we go. You. Bye. No Pokeballs. Alright. Here we know. Let's go find Professor Magnolia. Don't stop me, Hop. Aw. Listen, Wild, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? Gym challenge. The gym challenge, mate. It's the annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is, you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she can help. You've got to take part too. A proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger after all. Keeps you motiva motivated, right? The professor's house is way down at the end of Route 2, so let's head there and give our teams a chance to train up a bit along the way. Alright, so let's keep going to Professor Magnolia's. And this is going to be the last mission that we're going to do this episode, and then we're going to continue in the next one. So. Let's get this all done. We have a starting point. So, over here, Wild. Alright, Wild. It's time to, uh, it's time we filled in our teams a bit. Uh-oh. I'm here to teach you how. <laughs> you came out of nowhere. You need to catch Pokemon if you got any help filling that Pokedex. Lee, where'd you come from? Only look at you. Wild, you've already caught some on your own. Your mom gave you those Pokeballs, did she? I'll give you some more Pokeballs in return. I only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here are easy to catch. Almost like they're itching to join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? 20 Pokeballs. Nice. Thank you for the hookup, man. You put the 20 uh, Pokeballs in your bow pocket. The Pokemon on your team will get EXP points when you catch Pokemon too. And of course they'll get EXP points from battle, so take on other trainers you meet along the way. Along the path to help your Pokemon threat. Your team will... Keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, alright? Alright, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. Alright, so I'm actually going to avoid catching anything in this area unless it's by some miracle shiny. We're just gonna run on through here. Oh, it's a trainer. Alright, let's kick our first trainer's butt. It's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. I don't consider Hop like a real battle because it's more of just a tutorial. It's not, not really a real battle. It's all rigged for you to win anyway. Youngster Jake sent out Squovit. Go Bun Bun. Fight. And Ember. Yeah, look at that. See, level 6, respectable Squovit. Not bad. It's not like level 2. Squovit used tackle. See, look at that. It actually hurt me. 
burn. It didn't burn. One more? Get lucky. Oh, so close. Okay, whoop. My defense. One more. Don't miss. Good job. Good pass. Wove it. Alright, we won our real first Pokemon battle. There we go. And he learned Quick Attack. And he learned Beat Up. Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at them. Give me your money. My money now. Oh, what is that? Is that? Oh, it's a Choodle. I remember those little guys. Oh, no, Ricky Dino. We found two potions. Trainer tips, Pokemon can gain XP by battling other Pokemon's XP points help them grow stronger, and your Pokemon will still get XP even if you catch a Pokemon you're battling against. Thank you, Sign. What's that? Oh, it's a Yamper. Okay. Nope, I don't want your Yamper. Three Pokeballs. Boop. And where are we going? Squove it, Rookie D, Nick it. Okay. Cute and strong together in combination. You were challenged by Last Lauren. Last Lauren sent out Choodle. Maybe I should have caught that Yamper. Oh no. <laughs> Electric seems nice right now. Use Ember. I don't know if they learn any uh, low level Electric type moves though. I don't know if you have to level it up a little bit first. Ooh, this shoot was actually uh, kind of tanky. It's not very effective. All right, let's use a potion on Score Bunny so nothing goes wrong. Boop, boop, boop. Man, this Trudel is messing me up. Quick attack. Last hit. Big hit. There we go. Are we queued and nothing more? Looks like our strength still has a way to go. I got 500 bucks for winning that one. Not bad. The trainer. All right, let's use a, uh, let's make sure he's not too hurt. Okay, he's not too hurt. Let's do it. I couldn't beat Hop, but I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> Trust me, man. If you can't beat Hop, you definitely can't beat me. Youngster Benjamin sent out Blip Bug. I think that is a terrible Pokemon design. Not gonna lie, not my favorite. Not my favorite at all. That is bottom tier. Use Ember. Ooh. Oh, it's super effective. Goodbye, Bug. Yeah, you thought. You thought you could freaking beat me, man. Not happening. You can't beat Hop. You can't beat me. Get out of here. Bun Bun's level 9. Oh, and he has a Nicket. Okay. I thought he only had one Pokemon. Quick attack. Aw. Oh, ow. Nice. Ember. Burn. Quick attack again. Just using the same moves. Got a no scratch or tackle or something, right? Oh, he's dead. Fainted. we go. Ignacru level 6. I defeated you. There we go. I got $420 for winning. Nice. Alright. Oh, that's a... Whoa, I saw a sparkle for a second. Man, was that a shiny? I'm gonna be really salty. I'm gonna have to play that back. Oh, man. I don't know. I swear to God, I saw a sparkle. Oh, man. That's terrible. Alright. Hop, look. There's the professor. 
So, you have unraveled all your secrets of the Dynamax phen uh, phenomenon yet? Oh goodness no, the whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hoped that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Dear me, I'm sorry. Didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. So we're going inside her house. She's got a nice little house. Why hop, dear? I see Wulu has made some new friends. And you must be wild. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonya. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Wild? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years, and it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know? Like how many different types of tea there are. Hey Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and Wild only just started off as Pokemon trainers. I have no faith in them. <laughs> There's still loads they don't know yet. Yo, what a savage. <laughs> Deary, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Galar region become strong. Trainers, isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goes precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. Hop, jeez, calm down. Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Make sure it's fair, thank you. Yeah, heal my Pokemon. Give me that free heal. Right, I'll be waiting outside a while. All right, let's let's kick his butt. We're, we're gonna kick his butt. Where's he at? Where's he at? I'm so mad that I might have missed a shiny on the first episode. Like, the, the odds of even just seeing one. Crazy, but that is crazy. You've got to battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. Alright, let's battle, man. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. Of course. I'm rather interested in seeing how you uh, two young trainers battle too. Listen you two, the reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today, so show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. You were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop again. Pokemon Trainer Hop sent out Wulu again. <laughs> Go Bun Bun. Have you gotten a bit stronger? Me and my team will put you to test and see. Oh man, his, his team is a lot stronger. Wulu went from like level, what, 2 to level 6? I think it was level 2 or 3. Critical. Wow, he hit me with a critical too. Wow. Alright. Alright, Hop, I see you. Trying hard this time. Oh, okay, I wanted to two-shot you so bad. It didn't crit for me. My attack fell too. You tackle. Oof. Goodbye, Wooloo. One down. Two to go. Who's his third? Who did he catch for his third Pokemon? Oh my goodness. Pokemon Trainer Hop is about to send out Bricky. I'm keeping. I'm gonna turn that off too. I'm gonna switch that from switch the set just because it's easy. And it, you know, it'll save some time. Ember. Half your health. More than half your health. Well, look at you. Seems you've really learned your type matchups. Scratch. And Ember. Big boom. Super effective. And you're gone. Who's his third? I do not remember who his third is at all. Like, I it's just draw, drawing a blank. Completely. Uh, Rookie D. Okay, okay. 
be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match. Ricky D is unnerved. My, my team's too nervous to eat berries. Alright, so... Ember... Yeah, he's getting two shot. He only half health my Pokemon. That's hilarious. My first Pokemon. I have two. And his Ricky D's gone. My Pokemon gain XP. And I defeated Hop. Kick your butt again. Oof, gutted that I lost, but I'd expect nothing less for my rival. I got 640 bucks for winning. Not bad. And I even got my Pokeball throw perfect too. Sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? Man, you, you've known the sting of defeat twice so far, buddy. Feels bad. Wild hop. Well, wild, stop, and then hop. <laughs> well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I've little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. I have obtained letters of endorsement. Cool. I put the letter of endorsement in my bag's key item pocket. Letter of recommendation that you'll need in order to participate in the gym challenge. Yes, thanks, Lee. I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell of our bodies. Hop, you've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I'd been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems you really have grown a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Wild. Yeah, I kicked his butt. Get out of here. <laughs> Alright, Wild. You and me are going to train up against one another to aim for that champion's title. Absolutely. The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. Ah, oh, what's that? Oh, what is that? What's that? What's that? What are those? What are those? Wild, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Oh, that's what those are. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. I obtained a wishing star. Put the wishing star in your bag's key item. A stone found in the Galar region with a mysterious power. It's said that your dreams could come true if you find one. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're going to be massive. Yes. Oh, that's for Dynamax. I see, I see. Trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars found fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know? I'll be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. There, I've said it three times, so surely my wish will come true, right? <laughs> Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have here in the Galar region. But they won't do a thing in that state. Give them to me now, and I'll have you sorted. Ah, right. You've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please give Wild and me the power to Dynamax our Pokemon. First, we've got a battle against that mad Pokemon in the slumbering wield. And now this? It really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Seems I came back home at the right time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot. Why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. Alright, there we go. I made it through that. And I'm healed. It's morning at last, and time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, young challengers. Hop, is it true you really met some Pokemon you don't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Er, well, there was...
this weird heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Wild tried to fight it off, but I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. A right fount of information you are. Wild, hop, these are for you. Oh yeah, the Dynamax band. Yep, yep. You got a Dynamax band from Professor Magnolia and slipped it on your wrist. A wishing star has been affixed to it. It lets out a light that allows Pokemon the Dynamax when at a power spot. Cool. Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee, uh, uh, Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it's not as simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now, don't be afraid to get, go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That will help you fill out your Pokedex, too. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin. Come on, Wild. I beat you to the station. So we're going to the train station, I see. Okay, so... Now that we are here, and we finished her mission, uh, let's see if she has anything else to say. Don't be afraid to go all sorts of places, meet all sorts of Pokemon. Yep, she says the same thing. And what about Sonya? Strange Pokemon in this slumbering wield. I don't know. I get an uneasy feeling for some reason. Okay. So, yeah. We're gonna end this here, first episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your time that you were giving me. Thank you. And I will definitely see you in the next one. Thank you so much for your time, you guys. You guys have a safe day.